Hey friends, and welcome back to yet another wonderful LT Custom Guitars build today. And we're here with Lewis. Thanks for coming back to us right. again, Thank Lewis. you again for having me. Really good to see <laughs> you, my friend. And we've got number 15 with us today. And I don't know how or why he's done this to me, because he knows that I am a little bit addicted to purple Telecasters. Purple guitars in general, but purple Telecasters. My first... Uh, Milton, the MT1, um, was a purple, purple Telecaster. But look at this, for goodness sake. It's just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> So Lewis, tell us about this guitar. Uh, went a little bit different this time, went mahogany body with yeah. the flame maple. It's quite heavy. It is, yeah. Eight or nine pounds? I think it was It was close to nine pounds. Right. Um, I think it was 8.8. .8. Nice. Um, I started building it. I, I was, was torn between a couple of different colours on this. Um, I wanted to keep it fairly Telecaster-ish, so the, the controls lay out, the yeah. Telecaster pickups. With that top, no matter what finish I wanted to do, I didn't want a scratch plate on it, and no. I didn't want the control. And so I've just slightly offset them, as I tend to do, rather than keep them running in a, in a, in a straight in line. line. Try and follow Lovely a little bit closer with the- Flamed maple. It is lovely. Really beautiful. So with the flame maple neck and yep. a baked flamed maple board, the body's fully bound, the neck's fully bound. Oh, sorry, rather the fingerboard is fully bound. Yeah. crunch time then once you put this together it was well what are we going to do and yeah, I came very close to doing a, a blue burst um, but the the black binding swung it for me and I thought you know what I think purple but a wash top to bottom you did it would, to me uh... you did it to me <laughs> let's be honest you did you, you brought around a guitar that you thought he'll buy that <laughs> And, I, and I'm like a little magpie. I, I just wanted adore something, you know, color. for the shows that would yeah. start to catch people's attention because yeah. obviously the shape is very familiar. Yes, of course. But Although the headstock, again, your own design. Yes. Very nice design. And again, I threw the wash on that. Yes, you see what I mean about, I mentioned in the previous videos yeah. about this fitting on either way. So whether that's left or right handed, it, it, it looks should the fit same perfectly. and it looks good. <laughs> Pickups, alchemy pickups? Alchemy pickups. So these are his Nightfall sets, which are a little bit warmer than his Mercurials, which are a much right. more traditional set. I think they come in about 6.75K and right. so 7.5 respectively. Fairly low output, well, but these, nice. they were the Mercurials. The Nightfalls in this, sorry, are, I think, 7.5 in the neck, right. and I think 8.5 in the bridge, something like that. About hot Fender Telly. Yeah, type. something around that sort of scope without going mad with some of his own Eco 5 powered single coils that are up around 13, 15K. So Which is crazy for a single coil. Yeah, it's it? great. But How do they yeah, do I it? I was trying to keep this a, a little bit more traditional. So, you know, so we've still got the chamfered heel, yes. the hand cut. Um, good access, great access to the top frets. And this is a this is becoming a bit of a trademark, I feel, for you, which is that the whole of this heel joint is yeah. chamfered in from the body. So you've got a slight thicker body, lovely tummy cut there. Yep. And then this chamfers down again. It just gives you that little extra tiny little bit of access yep. when you get up really high up on the top frets. <laughs> It's 
strings. They're um, these are the Kurt Mangan Kurt Mangan yes. strings, which ten, I've been trying out 1046. myself. They're just so good. They ring, don't they? They're really clear, yeah. and they've got this really nice ringing tone to them. Um, and love the black hardware on this. So it this really is, sets the purple yep, off. Goto hardware again. So this yep. is the GTC two hundred one. Okay, I believe. They're brass saddles rather than steel, so brass should give you a slight, yeah, yeah, yeah. They should give you a slightly warmer tone. Yeah, and then the SG three eight one machine heads that I use a yeah. lot of. With the mini buttons, they're like the M six shallows. Yeah, I was trying to remember where I'd sit because they are very small um, yeah. tuning pegs. What are the ratio? Do you know the ratio on that? I believe it's 14, 16, 16, 16 to one. Sixteen to one. Right. Okay. And a little string tree for the for the high E and B string. However, I was looking at this and, and one of the things I really like about this guitar and what you've done is that this, you've kept the strings, as they go through the nut, you've kept them absolutely perfectly straight, which means that you're reducing any friction. Yeah. <laughs> Love the fact that you've gradiated the, the, the light to dark on the headstock as yep. well to match the body. Match it in. You got standard, obviously we talked about the pickup, standard three-way switch. Yep. Selects exactly what you'd expect, bridge, middle, and neck on its own. Volume and tone controls. Volume and tone, so CTS pots again, CTS switchcraft, pots. Uh, switch, yep. switchcraft, socket, and that sort of. Yeah. Like that as well, that's really it's quite pretty. quite tidy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> very tidy. A little um, tiny round. Uh, they're, they're what are they called? They're, they're slimline sockets, aren't they? Um, yeah, whether well, you call them barrels or barrel, that's the one. But the nice thing about this, this was worked out so well because switchcraft sockets can be ever so slightly thicker right. um, thread than uh, obviously okay. your cheaper ones. And this um, has worked out really nicely where it's perfect for it. And you actually screw the socket into in, the jack plate right? and so there's no movement or, uh, or anything okay, like that. So I you can't, that. So you can't sort of unwind it accidentally. Lovely little touch here as well, wire. Lewis, is that you've, you've slightly flattened off where the socket is just to make that yeah. obvious. That's where the socket goes <laughs> and it looks like it was designed and meant to be there. Um, nice recessed uh, back cover plate as well. And your LT custom guitars engraved, neck plate neck and plate. En engraved number 15 there. <laughs>
I really hope you enjoyed that. It's been an absolute joy. And uh, I have to say, I think I've fallen slightly in love with this as the magpie that I am. Particularly, I just adore this baked maple, flamed maple fretboard. I think it's really glorious. They're very, very nice wide frets on this, super, mm. super chunky frets. And one of the things that I love about your guitars is just how nicely you finish off the, the fret ends as well. <laughs> beautifully rounded off nice feeling fret ends and that's something that you do on all of your guitars yep thank you really really nice thank you so much for bringing this one in uh, you won't mind if it just uh, slips off and, <laughs> and hides in a corner and lives here for a bit would you <laughs> not at all no, that's great <laughs> excellent <laughs> okay lewis thanks so much and i'll see you again with another build soon brilliant thanks again stick around cheers folks cheers mate no nice one